What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will talk about how you can download your Facebook data. So as you guys know, Facebook collects your data, it tracks your activity, it stores a lot of information about yourself. Facebook is having a you know tough time uh, recently after the data breach that has affected like millions of subscribers. Uh, and being a cybersecurity professional, I'm, I'm concerned about my privacy too. And if you are as well, then uh, you know this video is actually helpful for you. Let's talk about how you can actually download your data from Facebook. Um, we, we, we will analyze the data. So what are the different types of data that Facebook tracks, Facebook stores for you? And also some deep inf interesting information that I'm, I'm going to share in this video. But do make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'll be keep sharing videos like this regularly. So let me grab my computer and I'll walk you through. So I'm on my computer right now. So remember, Facebook only lets you download your data when you are on your desktop or laptop. It won't work on your Facebook application. However, if you visit facebook.com from your mobile phone, just like a regular web website, like a full version of Facebook, not from your app, then this tutorial will work on your phone as well. So open Facebook and I'm just gonna click on my account. And what you need to do, you, need, you actually need to go to your settings, which you can find under your profile this option so click settings and make sure you are under the general tab which is selected by default and here you will see an option of download a copy link just click on that it will present you with a download your information screen and this will have a start my archive button which you will have to click to start um, archiving your data and as listed down here it says the data from Facebook will include your posts, your photos, your videos you have shared over the time, your messages, your chat conversations, your info about your about section of your profile and a lot of other details which you can click and find out, you know, what are the different um, data that, that Facebook actually collects for you. So these are the different topics, you know, different categories of data that Facebook actually collects for you. It's highly personal information and should not be you know should not be dis disclosed to anyone but facebook does that because of you know the business model that facebook runs on facebook collects your data and you know this is how you actually see relevant ads on your on your profile on your timeline so i'm gonna go back and click on start my archive and for security reasons you have to actually type in your password which i'm gonna do right now and it will say request my download you just click on start my archive so this is the confirmation that you know the facebook has actually started gathering your information and it will send a confirmation email to the registered email address on your profile uh, saying that you know the archive is completed and you should click on that email to download your data just click ok and wait for the email to actually arrive in your inbox the email can take a long time depending on your you know how long you have been uh, the customer of Facebook and how much data you know how much activity or you know how frequently you actually use to share your information so let's give it some time and uh, meanwhile I'm gonna share some you know some interesting information with you that I found really helpful number one is the data policy of Facebook so this is the link is facebook.com slash about slash privacy and you can actually read, you know, what are the data policy, what are the different types of information that Facebook collect. Just click on that. What kind of information do we collect? Uh, if you are concerned about your privacy, you should definitely read this page. You know, what information they collect, how do they use this information. And what are your different options, you know, if you are worried about your privacy. The next thing I actually wanted to show you, which is which I found really interesting, is that how your information is being collected. So click on that option again. Go to settings, and, and uh, on your left you will see the, uh, a button called ads. Click on that, and you will actually see your ad preferences. Now go through these options one by one, and you will you will be amazed to see how much information Facebook has collected over the time for you so i'm gonna click on your interest first and you will see facebook is showing um, ads on you know based on my activity data security because i work in security field you know these are the different uh, applications or you know different pages that i visit uh, i have visited uh, in in the past so that's why facebook is showing me ads based on these content travel and places 
So, you know, uh, since I'm interested in photography, tourism, so I'm actually, uh, you know, seeing these ads based on these. Hobbies, as you know, okay, again, vacations, photography, dance, you know, the motorcycles because, you know, I like to ro ride motorcycles. So that's why Facebook has learned, you know, my, my hobbies, my preferences over the time. And that's why they are showing me ads based on these. The next one is advertisers you have interacted with. Click on that and you will be amazed to see more information about you. So these are the advertisers that you have interacted with in the past. I'm not sure about all of them, but I do remember, you know, some of them. Um, so you, you can go over more options. So these are the apps or services that I've used in the past or I'm using right now. I'm really surprised to see how much Facebook has learned about me, you know, over the time. Uh, if you go over that, uh, if you go over the more options, you will see, you know, some more options. Whose ads you have clicked, if I see that, then probably, yeah, I, rem I do remember clicking, you know, some of the ads on, um, from these vendors. Um, now let's check out the your information button. Facebook is showing me ads based on, you know, my profile, my uh, uh, my uh, personal information. You, you can actually turn it off, which I have actually turned off right now. If you click on your categories, you can see more information Facebook has learned about me. As you can see, there are different options like away from family. Facebook, Facebook has actually learned that I'm, I'm actually away from family and my birthday in December. You know and some some different kind of um, other person information and yeah i just got a notification that my facebook data is ready for download i don't think it took me like more much time i, I think it just took me like 10 minutes probably you know uh, we'll have to go over the go over our email and click on the link to uh, start downloading our data but let's finish this topic first so there are more options you, you can you can see if you see hide ad topics so there are a few few topics like alcohol, parenting, pets then you can, that you can actually hide for like six months or one year or permanently if you don't want to see ads on these categories or you can actually su suggest other topics too. Uh, but the thing is you won't be able to turn off the ads completely because you know this is the, um, this is how Facebook works and this is uh, how their you know business model is but you can turn off certain certain categories. And now let's check out our downloaded data. So uh, since I got the uh, notification in my Facebook uh, homepage as well, so I don't need to go actually on my email because I can just cl click on this uh, notification and, and and we will visit our download archive button. And this is the same page that was that we see, that we saw previously, download your information. And now since our archive has been completed, we, we, can, we can just click on this download archive and it will um, ask us for the password again because of our security reasons. Just submit that. And here you go facebook has actually produced me a download a zip file of my data which i'm gonna download right, right now on my desktop i'm not sure how much size it, it is actually 171 mb and i've been a facebook user for uh, i believe like um, more than 10 years so not bad for the size of the data as you see i'm, I'm extracting my data so the naming convention uh, of this zip file is actually um, Facebook hyphen your, your username. So this is the folder that we have just extracted from the zip file. These are all, all our personal information that Facebook possess. And index.html is actually the summary of all, all our information. So I'm just gonna open that, just double click and open in a browser. So as you can see, it is, it is all my personal information. It has my uh, registration date, like you know, the day I actually joined Facebook, which, which was in 2009. My email address, my my birthday, all my interests, my everything, you know, what I like, what I don't like. If you click on the contact information, you can actually see all the all the contact information of my friends. I don't know, it it might sound creepy. You can actually find, you know, all of your information that was once in your phone with their phone numbers and email address and whatnot. But hey, on a funny side. What if you actually lost your lost number of your phone, you know, which you had like previously and don't don't have anymore? <laughs> well, Facebook has all your information, right? Timeline, uh, you know, what all the activities that I have shared on my timeline, photos, you know, these are the photos that I have shared on my timeline. Even even the comments from my friends on the photo, you know, they're just right there. Videos, uh, the videos that I've uploaded on my Facebook account, my Facebook friends, the uh, messages that I have actually received from my friends uh, on Facebook. Uh, these are the names of my friends on on Facebook, and if I click on you know any of any one of the name, you can actually see you know my my personal chat in the in, in the browser right there. Events like what are the events that I have actually attending? Maybe I was interested on you know decline and other things. 
let's let's check out the ads so these are the ad topics that facebook has actually uh, gathered about me uh, based on my interest and actually suggested me and you know some of the ad history that you know they showed me and and, and i clicked on, clicked on the ad so they actually have like you know, all of your information what about the other folders uh, let's check out the photos let's check out any of the uh, folder and you know they ha actually have you know all of my personal photos that i've actually uploaded on, on facebook see right there messages if you just click on any of the file you can actually read on the messages similarly you can actually click on html uh, these are the same things that that you can actually open from index.html um, it is just just a, like supporting file you can either open from here or just open from index.html so it's kind of scary to see like you know facebook has like all of your information with them and you know all, all of your personal information that i can't even share um, with you guys as they say uh, don't post anything on internet that you don't want your grandma to see you can actually see information about anyone like you know 10 years back 20 years back if you are willing to share any information on internet just think about it for once before uploading you know that information is actually available anytime and anyone can see that now let's talk about what you can actually do to enhance your security your privacy well first of all you should never disclose your personal information online reduce your uh, usage of your of your third party applications and and you know when they request that you you should actually share the information with third party apps just decline deny that don't do that the more information you share with third party apps you know the more information is actually um, is out of your hands the only thing you can do is actually reduce the information that goes out of your hands because once the information is lost it's actually lost forever well, this is pretty much it from this video and I hope you like this video and it was useful for you and if it was, give me a like and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more videos on the same lines. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.